We're out in the garage today, so let's talk about handlebar changes. It's a balmy 17 degrees outside here in Missouri, Fahrenheit. So decided to come out in the garage, turn the heat on, take the chill out and talk a little bit about handlebar changes. The FX3 comes standard with flat bars that I added bar ends, which many of you are familiar with if you follow along the channel. But I decided to try to switch those out with a free pair of Surly Malacos. So my buddy Jerry had an Ogre, a Surly Ogre with Malaco bars, and he decided to switch those out for trucking bars. So he says, hey, if you'd like to have these, do what you want with them. So I decided to try to put them on the FX3 and see how I like them. So let me talk you through exactly what I took off, what I replaced, and how it came out. So these are the factory bars that came, or the basic setup. It's a flat bar, and if you're familiar with the isotherm style grips that come on the FX3, that's what you see here. I had bar ends. This is the factory 100, 100 millimeter stem. And this is kind of like their filler plate that goes in here on the ends like this uh, with this rubber insert in here. So if you're familiar with that, changing these out, pretty straightforward. Basically you loosen an Allen screw on the end of the grip, kind of loosen a uh, regular screw here on this plate, on the bottom of this plate. That'll allow you to take this out. Of course with the bar ends, it's just an Allen screw. And then what I found was the 100 millimeter factory Bontrager stem was a little bit long for the way these bars are laid out. So I swapped that out, let me show you what I did. So here's the look of the Malaco bars once they're mounted up. You can see that the, the design is such that there's this sort of uh, curve here that makes the bars a little, a little longer but then a sweep back a little bit more. The net effect of it, at least from my experience in riding the FX3 was it was a much longer reach, so it was a little bit farther out. So what I decided to do was go ahead and purchase a race face 60 millimeter mountain bike style stem, which you can get on Amazon for about $26, I think. And I'll put a link in the description for that stem that you can take a look at. This is a standard uh, 31.8 millimeter uh, bar diameter that you'll need to look for a stem for, but the basics of it are that's pretty standard. And it's a standard tube size, so it's real easy to replace. To take this off and replace it, it's basically uh, loosening the cap uh, screw and taking that out, then loosening these two Allens. Pop it off, put the new one on, line everything up, tighten it up, and you're good to go. As far as the shifting cables and, and shifters and everything, uh, I had plenty of cable length to pull this off without a problem. Um, you basically can also do it before you actually put the bars on. That gives you a little more flexibility, but even so, I didn't have any trouble with enough cable to get these over the end of the bars. The one thing you'll need to keep in mind is that when you're putting these grips on, and these are the factory Surly grips that I put back on there at the moment. Uh, one, of the, one of the tricks is, is to use a little bit of hairspray. Those rubber grip, grips will slide right on and then you can, uh, when that dries, they won't twist or move anymore. I'm, I'm not super crazy about these grips. I may change these, but for now I've got them on there and they do work fine. They just don't have they just don't have much support, it doesn't seem like. But they are very, very rubbery. Overall, I like these bars. I, there's a lot of real estate, obviously, and I took off the feed bags, the, the Revelate design uh, feed bags, so that you could see here a little bit more. Uh, with this shorter stem, you have a little less real estate here, but there's plenty of bar real estate here. I went ahead and mounted that Delta cell phone holder that I use up here, um, and there's lots of room for other accessories. I do like, at times, to be able to reach out here and get hands on this. I'll probably wrap these with some bar tape. That'll give it a little more cushion, a little more grip. But overall, it is a nice reach to kind of reach out there. There's not a tremendous amount of hand space, so you are kind of limited in the way you can kind of grip these, but it's something a little different. I am looking forward to mountain, mounting the, uh, the Ortlieb uh, handlebar bag on there and seeing how that comes out. Also, I adjusted the angle of these shifters just a little bit down, uh, but overall, it's pretty a pretty straightforward change. I do a little bit miss the bar ends, so maybe I'll, I'll change that up somehow. I don't know exactly. Um, may do some ergon grips with the little bar end nubs on them. I don't know. I'm thinking about it though. I'm thinking about it. Overall though, it's been, a, been kind of a fun change to make. I put about 
15 or 20 miles total on it now. And yeah, I think it's okay. The moral of the story here is that this is a project anybody can pretty much accomplish. If you just have some Allen wrenches, you can loosen all these things up and change them out. Stem, bars, everything. The exception might be if you had to do something fancy with the shifters, if the cables weren't long enough, so forth, but I didn't have that issue to worry about. There are a lot of options out there for handlebars. There's the Velo crazy bars like Jerry has on his Fargo. There's the Jones bars, there's trekking bars, these Malaco bars, lots of options for handlebars. Every single one of them is a little different, different angles, different heights, different sweep. You're just gonna have to kind of do some research and try things out if you think it'll work for you or not. The point of all of that is, is that it's a project you can do yourself. You don't have to go to your bike shop probably and you can order a lot of these parts from lots of different places. I think overall I'm happy with this. Like I said, I might make changes to the grips and the, and the bar on the bar ends or something like that. But overall, it's been an easy project. I think it's a positive uh, adjustment and I'll see how I like it long term. Like I said, 15 or 20 miles so far, but I'm enjoying it. It's something different. A lot more real estate and I kind of like that. Gives me the ability to mount a lot of things. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.